Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the children show. Join us live every day in Ramadan 3 to 4 p.m. Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan children show. I'm Uncle Jane. Ramadan, Ramadan. I'm Sister Khadija. Ramadan, Ramadan. We love you. I'm Sister Sakina. News lady for short. Assalamu alaikum everybody and today's story is about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam 30 stories for 30 days hold on a minute where is everybody oh, there you are alhamdulillah <laughs> We are here to educate, entertain, and inspire. Join us live on YouTube for the Ramadan Children Show, 3 to 4 p.m. on the Ramadan Children Show channel. We will have Quran, Nasheed, Arts and Crafts, Quizzes. Don't forget story time. Don't forget the news. Make sure you subscribe like and share see you soon assalamu alaikum in the blessed month of ramadan Assalamu alaikum everybody. I am Uncle James. I am Hula Hooping Sakina. And Sister Khadija is missing, but we've got to knock at the door, guys. Who is it? Come then, come and say salam to everyone quickly. Oh no, we've got ducks in the house. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the... Oh, you're going to call Khadija. Okay, guys, you know what? Just before we came onto the screen, you must have seen the competition. Hello, for... Hi, Sister Rahma. Hello, Khadija. I'm blind Juelia. And we've got blind Juelia. Hello, Khadija. Not this way. Look, they're there. They're there. Say, Assalamu alaikum. I can't see today. Okay, go. Okay, there's a lot of noise today, guys. Maybe it's because the weather is so martial outside. The weather is beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Sister Khadija, Sister Khadija, do you hear us over and out? Sister Khadija. We are live on, on the YouTube. Where are you, Sister Khadija? Oh no, where are you gone? Are you missing? Are you an agent today? Agent Khadija. Okay, Agent Khadija. I'm going to let go of the walkie-talkie now. Quickly come to the show. We need you. It's an emergency. <laughs> Okay, so I've put the walkie-talkie off now, guys. That means she, she needs to come super fast. Okay, guys, listen, wait. Sister Sakina, wait. Wait, everyone, wait. You guys saw the competition poster, which is uh, the competition poster. Next to it, you saw Amin and Yasmin. Can we have that other logo? Look, there, there, there. Auntie Technician there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we've got some brilliant news, mashallah. Everyone say, alhamdulillah. We've got Amin and Yasmin dot com to sponsor the competition. Mashallah. 
aminanyasmin.com. All you have to do is type in aminanyasmin.com and it will take you to their website and you can see loads of different products that they have which they specialize in BSO, British Sign Language. And I think they are the creators of the no. first Islamic Sign no. Language no. book. Say Subhanallah. No. 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 So guys, all this yeah, stuff yeah. is on the website, inshallah. Uh, so that's Amin and Yasmin.com who are the sponsors for the children's show competition. And I know we've got lots and lots of entries. So the competition is really hot right now, you know. Uh, the video poem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The video poem and the Eid poster. We've got so many entries, guys. Another important thing, Sister Khadija can come and tell us. We are on the halfway mark of Ramadan. Sister Khadija! I'm back! Dr. Juvelia! Dr. Juvelia, I'm sit back. down. I've been outside and it has been very sunny. You've been outside? Yes. Yeah. What have you been doing outside? Um, it's a lockdown. Why are you going outside for? Guys, doesn't she understand what lockdown means? Guys, I went outside just to get myself some fresh air and exercise oh, oh okay yesterday. even I though mean, there's not mama. much to much uh, she can't read okay Sad Rahma. Sad Rahma. okay wait 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 guys guys let, let's ask sister Rahma why are you sad because of the weather she's a robot <laughs> I think I think guys I think because the weather is so Mashallah, that she can't go out. Therefore, she is a bit sad. But inshallah, maybe we can take her out for yeah. exercise later. But Sister Khadija, uh, you went outside to do exercise. Yeah. And? I. Okay, shall I just tell you guys? I did some dancing in some school. Ooh, is that part of your exercise? Um, no, it's part I of dancing. Okay. Okay. Chanted the moon. You're going to the moon. Okay, can you go to the moon with Uncle Technician? I'm going to the moon now. Okay, you go to the moon with Uncle Technician. Because <laughs> no, I, I think I it's going to I think it's gonna be your banana time very soon. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm my monkey because I meet the monkey. Okay, listen guys. I meet Are the you fasting? Monkey. Are you fasting? No. Are you fasting? I'm a robot. Go quickly eat your bananas. Sister Khadija, what day of Ramadan are we on? 15th. 15th. Subhanallah. You know, guys, that is half. Half is gone. Finish. And do we yes. even remember I what we've done in the half? No. No, we don't. Uh, that That's a sign that days are going super fast. And there is a hadith as well to say that a time will come and days will go super fast. Auntie Technician, can we sort out Miss uh, Rahma the robot? Thank you. Auntie Technician, we need to sort out the two robots, please, uh, with some banana that will keep them quiet for, for about 10 minutes, I, I'm guessing. And uh, maybe even an activity will help them in the room, inshallah. So, Sister Sakina, uh, tell us about our competition. Oh, so we're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to. Uh, a e poster you have to take a picture of it the poster. and via what what's up yeah uh, and, and said what are you wearing write a poem and write, write a poem and, and record, record it, it. only and it has send to it be 16 minutes 16 seconds 16, 16 seconds 60 seconds 60 seconds and 60 via, minutes, guys. <laughs> via what's up yeah? Yes, send it to us. Guys, remember the deadline is in 15 days. No, 10 days. Because the deadline is on the 25th of Ramadan. So we're on the fifth. Let's do a bit of maths here. Yeah. We're on yeah. the 15th of Ramadan. Yeah. The deadline is on the 25th. How many days do they have? 10 days. 10 days. Good, mashallah. Me and Sakina, we've been doing a lot of maths, haven't we? No, guys. And I think Sister Sakina is improving. High five. High five. She blanked me. High five. At least I got a high five on the left. Okay, high five now. That's a very slow high five. Mm -hmm. I help her, guys, every day. Every day I help her in the morning to do her English and maths, even though I'm not very good. Oh, what's the hug for? We don't help. 
Yes, he's strangling me now. Are you are you cross with me or something? Stop. So guys, every morning, you know, like all parents do, I'm sure uh, you guys are getting a lot of help at home because schools are closed. Uh, so Sister Khadija does a lot of her work by herself, alhamdulillah, because I think she's fantastic. I don't even need to check her work because she does it spot on. But we do check it, don't we, sometimes? Yeah, because I did. And we do get some spelling mistakes, which is okay. Uh, and Sister Sakina, me and her, we sit down for almost about an hour, hour and a half. And we try and get our English and maths done. But you know what? Honestly, guys, she's doing really. Mashallah. Everyone say mashallah. mashallah. Okay. okay. At the start, we were both a bit slow. Yes. So listen, we've got the 15th of Ramadan. Our topic is still on dua and we're gonna go to some videos inshallah so let's start off the show with some videos for dua and remember the lines are open give us a call and we've got another announcement that you can see on the screen can i say the announcement please yeah, our tomorrow. show tomorrow will be on tomorrow tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow will be on on, on, on YouTube. 17 6 30 every day it's on youtube at 6 30 p.m <laughs> guys the time the clock the clock tick 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 the tick clock, tock, clock. the alarm will go off at 6 30 p.m what time 6 30 p.m to 7 30 so we're gonna move the show to a bit more later on uh of the day more towards the afternoon uh inshallah this is to help some of you guys or some more viewers to uh, tune in to the live show because this show is best when you watch it live when you watch it live when you watch it winner <laughs> let's go to our dua <laughs> who is that is that sister khadija's in in the mirror Oh Allah, as you have made my external features beautiful, make my character beautiful as well. Get to wash your hands. Dua for your parents. Say it with me. Rabbir hamma kama rabbiyani saqira. Now make dua for your parents. Aluk al Jannah. Oh Allah, I ask you Jannah. If you repeat that three times every day, then Jannah itself asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you Jannah. Allahumma inni asaluk al Jannah. And guys, you need to make a dua for me, please. Go on. You just said the dua on your oh, videos. Um, um, Thank you. Uh, guys, listen. What my eyes? Ah, you're scaring me. I've got black stuff in my eyes. Where can you see, guys? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see what I've got on my eye? Can you can you really see it? I d I don't think anyone can see it. But I tell you what is sit down. Today is the special day of Friday and Jumma Mubarak, everybody. Jumma Mubarak. Even though we didn't have Jumma prayers in the masjid, today is still Friday. Friday is a special day in Islam. A whole surah of the Quran is named after it. And there's so many hadith explains the goodness, blessings. the blessings and rituals and etiquettes and do's and don'ts about Jummah. Now, 
one of the etiquettes of Juma from the Sunnah we know is to is to put black stuff on your eyes. Yeah, it's not eyeliner, guys. I didn't use uh, anyone's makeup here. It's it's called is it called Khazal? I think it's called Khazal. <laughs> I, I forgot the Arabic name for it. Uh, what's the Arabic name Kohl. for it? Huh? Kohl. Is it Kohl? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. And uh, no, it's not Kohl. Well, it's basically black stuff that we put on our eyes. Men. Yeah. <laughs> Do I look nice? No. Why? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me tell you, in Al-Qurul, yeah. Sadek Tinkopek. Sadek Tinkopek. Guys, no, we're not going to talk about Al-Qurul here. Al-Qurul is something else. No, stop, stop. So Al-Qurul is something else to talk about. Okay, guys, uh, Sister Khadija. Uh, we mentioned something before we went to the dua. Tomorrow's show, everyone listen at home. You need to put your alarms on for tomorrow. What time? 6.30. 6 30. 6.30. What, morning or evening? 6.30. Morning. Evening. Evening. Stop being silly. You're going to confuse everyone. It's 6.30. 6.30. In the, in the evening. evening. P.M. Yeah. Hold on. What does P.M. mean? Maybe someone can tell us what P.M. PM means. PM means... No. Prime Minister! No, no, it's not Prime Minister. No. no, PM for time. Can someone at home oh, tell us what PM no. is? Okay, so we've got so much going on. We was talking about Dua from yesterday. We're talking about today is Friday. And Sister Khadija, sell me... Sell me. <laughs> sell me some hazel for my eyes, please. No. Okay. Tell me, I think, no. I think he got a... Hungry brain. A hungry, you know what? I'm not gonna a hungry lie and today, thirsty brain. But I woke up a little bit late, guys, and you know my tummy is rumbling like. Blah, 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 blah. And thing. So no, no. tell me something special about Friday. Friday. Friday is a special day in Islam. A whole surah of the Quran is named after it and very... You're repeating what I said before. <laughs> You're cheat, cheat, oh man. Okay, let, let's ask. Uh, anything, could be anything. Tell me something. Friday was the one something. that Adam was, um, was put in this earth and taken off this earth. Okay, so Friday was the day when Adam was created and it was put on this earth and it was taken yeah, away from this so. earth. Something else, something special about Friday. Uh, in Friday we uh, we do Juma prayers. We do Juma prayers and uh, we uh, we read the Quran and and the and the surah is Kaf. If you want, if you read that, then Allah will protect you. Uh, I don't know what for. From the Dajjal. Okay, we've got a caller, guys. And Let's... that surah is Surah Kaf. Yes. Okay, let's go to the caller. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Chadwick. MashaAllah, brother Jahangir, you seem to have a very deep voice. How old are you? I'm 23. Takbir! Allahu Akbar. So, brother Jahangir. What brings you to the children's show? Thank you so much. Brother Jangu, do you watch the children's show by yourself or with the family? Okay, and do you have children yourself? Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Okay. Uh, Brother Jahangir, we're talking about Friday. Tell me something important about Friday. Friday, well, subhanallah. Friday, it's, um, it's one of the best days of the week and it's considered to be an Eid of the week. Subhanallah. So can we do Eid Mubarak? Yes, you can do Mubarak. Okay, we're going to do Eid Mubarak Eid to Mubarak. Sister Khadija. Jumatul Mubarak to Sister Sakina. She, she's gone, guys. I don't know what's wrong with her today. Anyways, uh, Brother Jahangir, over the TV screen, I'll give you a big hug for Jumatul Mubarak. Ready? Three, two, one. One. 
Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, also, we are talking about dua, which is from yesterday. What is your favorite dua? My favorite dua. Or, or a dua that you My like to say dua. constantly? Alhamdulillah, that is amazing dua. Brother Jahangir, Jazakallah khair for your call. I've got to tell you one more thing. Uh, tomorrow's show, do you know what time tomorrow's show is going to be on? It's going to be on at 6.30 p.m. So get your clock, get your phones, get your alarms and put it on there. 6.30 p.m. And Auntie Technician has just said that apparently you're really good at the yes and no game. Is that correct? Okay, I didn't ask for an essay. I just said, is that correct? Uh, no. Oh, he's out! I don't know what Auntie Technician was talking about, but I just got you out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, shall we play? Yes or no? Oh, he's out again! Take me in, high five! So that's unfair. That's not unfair. That's two times in a row. Brother Jangir needs a bit more experience. So, inshallah. Zakala khair for your call. Asalaamu alaikum. Amazing call from Brother Jahangir. Uh, guys, listen. Uh, Jahangir. 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 Uh, Zakala khair for your call. Guys, we do know that a lot of our viewers, you guys at home, are adults uh, watching with your family, uh, even watching with your children. So don't be shy to call us in, even though it's the children's show. You know what? It's the family show. It's for everyone to call in and Why take part, mean, inshallah. Yeah, uh, because that's a good question. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> or we haven't thought about that. Not us. Yeah. No, no, we yeah. called no, we called it the children's show. You know why? Yeah. Because many, 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 many years ago, before you guys existed, <gasps> I'm extinct. Before they existed, we had the children's show on Muslim Community Radio. Yes, I'm not right. Extinct. Yeah. From, now I am. from Muslim Community Radio, from the East on the Masjid, we uh, we used to present the children's show. We used to be technician there. We used to have so many different kinds <laughs> of shows. And from there, we got the Martin. name children's show. Uh, Sister K, go. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Muhammad and I'm calling from East London. What would you like to do for the children's show today? I'd like to say a joke and first uh, Uncle James to yes or no. Okay. Say a Jake. Say a Jake. <laughs> Do you like my joke? I said say a Jake. <laughs> okay, Muhammad, tell us a joke. Okay. I have four eyes, six ears, and two mouths. What am I? Is it a joke or video? Is it a joke or a riddle? It's a riddle. It's a joke. Okay, it's a joke. So he's got it's a four. Joke, wait, he's got four eyes, six legs, three ears, and one tummy. No. What? Six eyes, four six ears, eyes, and two nose. Six eyes. Alien. Wait, six eyes, four ears, and two nose. Two mouths. Two mouths. You're a person. You're two people. No. You're Muhammad times three. No, I'm what? Ugly. What? Ugly. What? Ugly. Oh, I hope you are not ugly, Muhammad. And no one's ugly. Okay, are you ready for the yes and no game? No, I just started this time because uh, it's because yeah, just because. Okay, <laughs> okay. Are you Possibly. Are you sure? Always. Not sure. Okay. Did you say yes or no? I'm confused now. Are you sure? 
I'm always hungry. Why? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, are you, um, do you sleep in the night or in the day? Daytime. How long? Five hours. Oh my. If you, if you, uh, then why are you so tired? I like chocolate. <laughs> Countdown. Five. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. What? Yeah, you said I am three times. I am three times. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't think I did say I am three times, but because it's Ramadan, I know nobody's going to be lying. So, Alhamdulillah, well done, Muhammad! Yay! Are you sure you're a winner? Yeah, I'm a winner. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Zakallah khair for your call, Muhammad. And you know what? Keep practicing the yes and no game because next time I'm going to challenge you, okay? Ooh. And is that your brother in the background? No. Okay. Uh, we're talking about Jumma today. Tell us something about Friday. Yeah, people go to the mosque every day to pray the Salah. So what was special about Friday going to the mosque? Is it because we go to pray Ju Jumma? Yes, well done. Okay, Zakallah khair for your call, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. Guys, we go to pray Jumma. Can we? Can I pray Jumma at home? Yeah. No, can I pray Jumma at home? No. No, Jumma has to be in congregation. Meaning that Jumma you have to pray with minimum uh, three adults. So one person leads the Salatul Jumma and two people attend. So it has to be minimum three adults male. Three adults male. male. And there is differences of opinion, but however, they have to be three adult male. But that's where just you like can gender pray. Finger. No, it's not. That's how the that's how the Sunnah is. That's how the Sunnah of Allah is. Okay, so guys, uh, remember, everything has a reason. Okay. Uh, well, another thing about Jumma is I showed you guys, and Sister Khadija asked me before, what do I have on my eyes? I'm gonna quickly come close to the camera, and it. Khazol, we call it Khazol. Maybe you guys call it something else, right? Call, she said call you. Call me, not call. Oh, call. she said call. She said call. I call it Khazol. I, 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 I can't, I don't know the Arabic name for it. I didn't call it. I didn't call what it. What did you call it then? Call. I call it. What's your name and where are you calling from? Assalamu alaikum, Mikai. What would you like to do for the children's show today? I'd like to do a riddle. Oh, okay. Before you start the riddle, I've got a question for you. Have you been watching the story time? Yeah. Okay, question number one. Why did the Muslims travel to Abyssinia? Abyssinia. Why did the Muslims travel to Abyssinia. Okay. Yes, yes, that's good. That's that's part of the answer. Anything else, or should we move on? Yes, uh, because of what was happening in Mecca to the Muslims at that time. They were getting. Yeah, Takbir! Well done, Mikai. So, uh, because of persecution in Makkah, the Muslim had to flee to Abyssinia. Uh, I'm not going to ask you question number... Should we ask him question number two? Uh, yeah. You might get all the answers because we're going to give the answers today. Okay, Mikhail, question number two. Why did the Quraysh go to Abyssinia? Mm. 
So remember, the Quraysh were part of the. Yes, to bring back the Muslims for persecution again. Okay, you're, you're on the you're on the hot seat of the quiz time. Are you ready for question number three? Okay. Why do you think the Quraysh prepared gifts for the Abyssinian king Ashama? Why did they prepare gifts? So when the Quraysh went to see the king to bribe him yes and and if you if you go to someone's house we always take something don't we to, uh, to, make, to make the muslim leave yes and when we go to someone's house or when we're going to see someone special we go and give them a give, give that me mashallah you know what Mikhail, you smashed the quiz time competition today, uh, quiz time uh, questions today. You got all three answers right. And keep watching the story time uh, videos because we will have the new questions come out tomorrow. Okay, let's have your riddle. Go. Uh, what, uh, what can belong to you but I think you use it Your name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. How did you know? I know lots of videos. Okay, okay. We've got Mrs. Clever, Miss Clever Clogs here. Uh, yeah. Why don't you tell Mikaela a riddle? Okay. Three, two, one. M Mikaela, are you ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. Uh, I got a riddle. No, no, no. Let so us say. The person made it but doesn't need it. The person who bought it doesn't use it. The person who uses it doesn't see it. What it is it? It starts with a C. No, you don't give the answer. Okay. While, while, uh? Repeat it. Repeat it. Okay. Oh, we got interruption. Oh. Subhanallah. Who is that? Hello. Uncle Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, Uncle Muslim. Yeah. We have a riddle. From Sister Khadija to Mikhail. No, okay, okay. Oh, okay. repeat it. Three, two, one, go. The person who made it didn't need it. The, no. the person no. who made it didn't want it. The person who need, bought, bought it. it didn't want didn't use it. The person who used it didn't see it. See it. What, what is, is it? it? Postman and letter? No. no. Mikhail, any answer? I don't know. Okay. okay so like answer? Answer? A coffee. coffee! What? Thank you, Mikhail, for your call. Hold on. Uh, Uncle Muslim. Can yeah. we put the volume up for Uncle Muslim? Yeah, that's it. Uncle Muslim has got a question for you, Mikhail. Are you ready? Mikhail. 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 Mr. Michael. Okay, uh, guys, we need Mikhail to call back. Uh, how are you, Uncle Muslim? I'm good, guys. How are you? Very good, Alhamdulillah. Let's see if we can get Mikhail back. Yeah. He's my favorite caller. I was looking forward to talking to him. Hello, is this Mikhail? Yeah. Okay, Mikhail, Uncle Muslim has got a question for you. Mikhail, how are you? Mikhail, how are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? He can hear you. Yeah. Mikhail, I hear that you have done some research about Islamic findings. I've been will I've been dying to hear from you. And so I can once and now all I can close this chapter and move on to the next chapter. Okay. Mi uh, Mikhail, can you tell us? Your research, what you found from your research on Muslim inventions. Three, two, one, go. Did you know that the Muslims invented cameras, clocks, carpets, a plane? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, well done. Very good. That is really good. Okay. Yes, I have another idea. I know that I have no idea. Do you have an, another idea? Do you have any more, Mikhail? Coffee. Coffee? Yeah. And one more before you go. Maths or maths? Maths. Maths. Okay. Jazakallah khair, Mikhail. Yes, yes. Well done. Thank That's you for your call. Point. Very good point. North, East, South, West. They invented the paper. Okay. Okay. Uncle Muslim. Yes. Yeah. Tell us about Juma. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, subhanallah. And is that why we pray in congregation for Jummah? Yeah. Okay. Jazakallah khair, Mikhail. Thank you so much. We're Thank gonna you, guys. Uh, Mikhail, tomorrow's show is what time? Uh, 6 to 7.30. 6.30 to 7.30. Yeah. Okay, make sure you put the alarm on your clock, okay? Yeah. Okay. We have something. Hello. Yes, tell okay. us about Muslim inventions, please. Yeah, that's going to be on tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. Full full case. So Okay, the final the final uh the final show on Muslim inventions. Okay. You said you're gonna have a presentation ready for us. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, inshallah. So the final uh, show on the Muslim inventions will be tomorrow, inshallah. Yeah. And you know what? Tomorrow we will set up a small competition in regards to Muslim inventions so that you guys can win a medal from Uncle Muslim. Well done. Okay, I got one more riddle before I go. Go on. Uh, why, what is, okay, why is. What's a what's a gun for a shaitan? A gun for a shaitan. Yeah. A gun. A gun. No. Uh, is it a knife? No. Oh. Sit down, sit down. Look, he's there. He's not over there. He's here. Okay, a gun for the shaitan. Yeah. The, uh, you shoot, if you shoot in the gun, it will run from seven hell away from. You can shoot him out of this world. Okay, okay. So it's a weapon. Are you talking about a weapon? It's not a weapon. It's a yeah. It's it's a, a, a dua. It's a weapon, right? Oh, the dua. You said the answer. The dua. Ah! <laughs> what, what dua it is? What dua is? <laughs> okay. I think we just caught Uncle Muslim out there, guys. What's the, what's, 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 the, what's, what's the dua? What dua is? Uh, uh, Allahumma jinni min al nar. No, another try, one more try. Oh, what dua for keeping the shaitan way? Ayatul kursi. No, the three cools. No, I will be Almost. Oh, okay. You tell us, Uncle Muslim. I would be nice to be a shaitan in Rajim. I would be nice to be a shaitan in Rajim. And you blow the shaitan away. That's it. That's it. Good. Okay. Uncle Muslim. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Yes. We told you not to do the uh, uh, interrupting. Oh, one. we've lost Uncle Muslim. Guys, uh, you know what? Jazakallah khair to brother Mikhail for answering the story time question. Say the, I'll say the question, you say the answer. Ready, steady, go. Why did the Muslim travel to Abyssinia? Because the Prophet shipped it up. <laughs> Why did the Quraysh go to Abyssinia? Uh, to bring up Muslim for a prayer. Why do you think the Quraysh prepared gifts for Abyssinia? Yeah, a chance to meet the king. 
Okay, guys, so the questions for story time will come out again tomorrow. So please make sure that you watch story time uh, 14, 14 and 15. 15 because the questions are always based on two days previous from the day show. So another announcement before we go to story time is that our competition is sponsored. Mashallah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Guys, everyone. Go onto your computer or phones or laptops and tablets and type in uh, aminyasmin.com. That's A M I N Yasmin Y S Y A S M I N. Amin Yasmin, one word, dot com. And you can see their website and what they do. I know they specialize in uh, British Sign Language, and I think think inshallah they can correct me uh, that they are the first creators they are the creators of the first islamic sign language book oh, say yeah. subhanallah oh, mashallah to you guys and you know what jazakallah khair to amin and yasmin uh, for sponsoring the competition we'll put the poster up again inshallah uh, let's take a caller sakina take yeah, the caller assalamu alaikum what's your name and where are you calling from my name and I'm calling from How are you, Ayan? What would you like to do for the children's show? I would like to play the SML game. Who would you like to challenge? Me. Oh, three, two, one, go. Quick fire. Is your name Ayan? Of course he is. Is your school closed? Are you at home? Of course, I don't think so. Are we in lockdown? Of course we are. Are we... Uh, are you fasting? Maybe. Are you watching the children's show? Absolutely yes. It's Absolutely yes! I didn't say that. What did you say? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he said absolutely. Okay, ready? You got 10 more seconds, Kay. Go. 10, 9. Um, uh, is today Jumas? Okay, one minute. Um, <laughs> eh, eh. Jazakallah khair, Ayan. You won the yes and no game. Ayan, Ayan, our show is what time tomorrow? Yes, inshallah. Uh, you can call us back after the uh, story time. Jazakallah khair. We're going to go to the next caller. Assalamu alaikum. Who's calling? Assalamu alaikum. What's it? Alaikum salam. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, What's, What's your, your name? name and where are you calling from? And how old are you, Shakil? Mashallah. Are you fasting, Shakil? Um, how, how many fasts have you kept? Shakil. Okay, Mashallah. Shakil? Yes. What school do you go to? Brampton, okay, mashallah, that's really good. And you are in year eight. Are you in year eight or year seven? Oh, and uh, tell me one thing that you're missing about school. Yeah, something. Are you in lockdown? And what do you miss about school? One thing that you miss about school. Oh. You know what, Shaquille, what you can do is say a, give a message to all your friends on the Ramadan children's show. Okay. Go on. Um, basically, you like to subscribe to the Ramadan children's show and, and uh, come watch it at 3 to 4 p.m. every day. Okay, so that's a message from Shaquille to all his friends. Uh, at what school did you say? Brampton Manor Academy. That sounds like somewhere in Newham. Okay, what would you like to do for the children's show? Yes, I know, 
Oh, have you been practicing? Okay, who would you like to challenge? Um, you. Uncle James, yeah? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Shall we play? Pardon? The game has started. Are you ready? Sure. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, Shaquille. Shaquille, you got done. Oh. You said yes. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Shaquille. Today, what day is it today? Friday. Friday. And what's special about Friday for Muslims? Jumma. Yes, Jumma is a special congregational prayer that Muslims go and pray in the masjid. However, because of the lockdown, can we go to the mosque? No. No, but we can do our prayers at home. We can't do Jumma at home unless there are three male adults. Uh, Shaquille, yes. on our on our screen, on your on your TV screen, you can see uh, that you can see there's a writing that says, "Attention, tomorrow's show will be on from 6:30 p.m. What time? Yes. So the time is changing tomorrow." So make sure you guys tune in in the evening tomorrow, okay? And make sure you call me. And one more thing. Make sure you practice the yes and no game because I want you to challenge me again tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right, Shaquille. Zakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Guys, I think Shaquille was uh, too easy to beat there. However, because it's Ramadan, I'll give him the benefit of doubt that he tried his best, inshallah, and he will join us tomorrow. Have we got a caller? We, we lost a caller. Okay, we're, we're going to go to story time. It's story time. It's story time. Shh. Wiggle your finger. Ramadan, we love you. The story of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Chapter 15 Severe Persecution The Quraysh were frustrated. They kept trying to stop the spread of Islam but more Meccans were accepting the message of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam every day. The chiefs had a meeting and decided to begin a boycott against the muslims does anyone know what boycott means mm -hmm. no like when you stop not, not doing anything with the muslims yeah so again. stopping them from yeah stopping having Next. interaction with them boycott against the muslims they wrote up rules of the boycott which includes that nobody would partake in buying or selling with the muslims and they posted the rules on the kaaba the muslims were to remain in the valley of Abu Talib during the boycott they faced extreme hunger oh show me that you're hungry Rahman Juwaria oh no as they could not buy anything from the Meccans the Muslims would wait until the trade caravans arrived and try to buy some food from them they did not have a lot of money because they were not allowed to sell to the Meccans either but the muslims would still try to buy enough food to at least feed their children when the trade caravans came to mecca the Quraysh would convince them to raise the prices so much that the muslims could barely afford to purchase anything this cool boycott lasted three years until prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi received a revelation from god that the parchment paper on which the boycott was written had been destroyed except from the word Allah. Wow, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that, Juridia? Yeah. Show mommy. Good sitting. Let me see. Good sitting. Look, except from the word Allah. Can when I he see? informed his uncle Abu Talib of this, Abu Talib approached the other chiefs of the Quraysh and said, that now that the parchment had been destroyed, the boycott should be put to an end. The Quraysh checked the parchment, and indeed it had been. Yes. 
It had been eaten by insects, all except from the word Allah. Oh. And thus, even truly, the boycott came to an end. Abu Talib was the leader of the Banu Hashim clan and protected his nephew, who was also from the Banu Hashim. Out of a sense of honor, not long after the boycott ended, Abu Talib passed away. But that was not the only loss the Prophet Muhammad would suffer. The pious and noble Khadija, his beloved wife for 25 years, also passed away that year. Due to his hardship the Muslims faced during the boycott, many now suffered from ill health, but the Muslims remained patient and trusted in Allah. They knew that being good Muslims would mean that they would face hardship, but the Quran taught them to be patient and prayful and that they would be ease after hardship. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan 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 Subhanallah. You know what guys? The story of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is getting more interesting. Uh, let's take caller. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? What would you like to do for the children's show today, Naila? I'd like to um, say a riddle. Okay. We're listening. Okay, I never had a mother, yet I am the mother of everyone. Who am I? Eve. How are you? Yeah. Yay, mashallah, that is a really good one, alhamdulillah. Naila, we're talking about Juma today. Tell me something special about Friday. One thing. Um, okay, we have to read Surah Kaf. Zakallah khai. Naila, because we've got only a few more minutes, what time is our show tomorrow? Inshallah, see you then. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum salam. Assalamualaikum. Assalam alaikum. What's, What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Amina. How are you, Amina? I'm okay. And what would you like to do for us today? Are you ready? I am Sarah. Stop. Stop. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> that that is a blessing, Amina. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. What's your name? My my name is Amina. Do you go to school? Of course I do. Have you been practicing? Can you hear me? Of course I can hear you. Is that your sister? Yeah, and uh, is that true? Obviously, it's true. Why did you say obviously three times? I just said it once. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I can't hear you. Amina, okay. is, your, is your sister Sarah? Um, are, you the, are you the oldest sister? Okay, and do you like the color blue? I love the color blue. Are you being cheeky? I, of course, I'm being cheeky. She said, of course, three times. Oh, no. Yeah, no, three times. Auntie Technician just told me. No, she said no, it three no, times. No, 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 Auntie Technician, Amina. You didn't say it, Amina. Did you say, of course, three times? No. But, yes, she oh, did. did she? Because I've been counting. And why I say Auntie Technician said it is because she's meant to be listening. I want her to win. Amina, what did you and, mean? And, and Auntie Technician's calling me a liar. That's not good. Oh, I thought you were joking. No, that's not. Why would I joke with Amina for? Okay, I forgive you. Um, I, my, 
Okay, quickly, last joke from Sister Amina. Go. No, my cousin. Oh, your cousin. <laughs> okay, your cousin. What's your penguin's favorite movie? I don't know. Is it Happy Feet? No. What is it? It's Rose and Two and Frozen. Oh, no. that's so good, mashallah. That's What's so your name? Funny. What? Can I tell you a joke? Go, last joke, then we're going to go. Okay, why? Uh, so why, why does it? What does it? Flip flops. Yes, you got it right. Flip flops. Ah, oh, that was a guess. Is it flip flops or slippers? Oh, okay. You know what? I'm guessing that you guys like a lot of penguin chocolates. Okay. I mean, now what time are we on tomorrow? See you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, let's take the caller. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Why are you calling from? Hello. 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 Baba Fin. Assalamu alaikum. I think it's brother, um, brother from. Hello. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Yay! We got brother Atik. How are you, brother Atik? We're doing fantastic because it's the special day of Friday. How are you? Okay, brother Atik, since you called, can you tell us something special about Friday? Friday is Yom Jumat, Friday Jumat, second Indian, every best day of the week. Yeah. Okay, then. A quick joke before you show it. Okay, then. We just got a caller on now. We can go in there. Okay. And uh, how is how is everything in the masjid? Did we pray Jumat today in the mosque? Oh, the mosques are closed. Well done, Brother Atik. What would you like to do for the children's show? What would I like to do? I'd like to go to Rahma with Rahma. Oh, Sister Rahma. Rahma is going to have her banana. She's not fasting because she's only three years old. No, not today. Um, you're gonna have to go to another room. Okay, Jazakallah uh, Khair, Brother Atik, for your call. Uh, please call us tomorrow. The show is at 6 30. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Maisha, how are you? We're very good, thank you. Now, uh, there is a special hour in Friday. Do you know what it's about? A special hour? Yeah, on Friday, there's a special hour. In yes. Shall I tell you quickly? There is a special hour on Friday where Allah accepts your dua. Asa'a, I think. It's an hour. It's just called an hour. And it is uh, on Friday where the angels come and they accept your dua. Takes, Takes your dua to Allah. Auntie Technician is correcting me, guys. Thank you. Uh, I don't think she knows that her voice can be heard on the microphone as well. But thank you, Auntie Technician. You're the best. Maisha, what would you like to do for the children's show? Okay. Mm, quick joke. Okay, quick joke. Go. Why does Ramadan go by so quickly? Why does Ramadan go by so quickly? Is it because there's only thirty days? There's only thirty days. No, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is quite funny. She even laughed at her own joke. Well done, Masha. Thank you for your call. Masha, our show is at what time tomorrow? And who sponsored the competition? It's on the screen. Who's it's on the screen it's on the screen who sponsored the competition amin and yasmin.com yes so guys listen amin and yasmin uh i believe the brothers and sisters and you know what i'm gonna tell you guys something very interesting amin and yasmin if i'm right and they can call us on the show tomorrow inshallah i'm gonna get them to call us and explain about amin and yasmin.com if i'm right here yeah, they used to be our children's show listeners a few years back uh i believe amin yasmin and uh, is it arfat or rifat uh they used to be our children's show listeners and participants and they used to enter all the competitions and everything and this time round we've got amin and yasmin uh dot com sponsoring their competition which means there's going to be really good prizes guys yeah so everyone get on your poem record it send it in get onto your eid poster uh draw it send it in i know we've got entries we're gonna wait for sunday inshallah and we'll show all the entries that we have so far how many days left for the deadline 10 10 days how many days left for the end of ramadan 15 15 so guys when will we announce the competition winners in 15 days 15. on Eid Eid day, inshallah. Guys, from me, Uncle James. From me, Sister Khadija. From me, from me. From there, 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 you have to say it on the camera. Okay, Assalamu alaikum. Say it with me. Rabbir Hamma Kamara Bayani Sahira. Ask you Jannah. If you repeat that three times every day, then Jannah itself asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you Jannah. Oh Allah, as you have made my external features beautiful, make my character beautiful as well.
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sajjul Mool and on behalf of the Eastland of Mosque, I would like to say a Ramadan Mubarak to you all and to keep watching the children's show. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak to everyone from the children's show. My name is Abu Mumin and I'm from Silet 8. Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, this is Runu, the founder of Karma Fragrances. Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. Keep watching the children's show. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mos Chaibi from Chaibi's DIY Services. Just like to say Ramadan Mubarak to everybody. May you all have a blessed one. Also, keep watching the children's show. Assalamu alaikum. It's Akla from Tile House. Ramadan Mubarak, everyone. Keep watching the Ramadan children's show. Fantastic show. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul from the Ottoman Donna. I just want to say Ramadan Mubarak to every single one of you and keep watching the children's show. Assalamu alaikum. This is Imdad from Easy Builds. Wishing you all a Ramadan Mubarak. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept and bless you all. A quick message keep watching the Ramadan children's show. Easy does it. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Kahid. Quest Carpet and Flooring in Poplar E14. I hope you enjoy the Ramadan. Keep watching Children's Show. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Ramadan Mubarak. This is a message from Global Marquee and Party Hut. Thank you for watching the Ramadan Children's Show. Keep on watching and sharing. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Muaz from Malaysia, Ramadan Mubarak, and keep watching the children's show. Ramadan, oh Ramadan, we love you.